My name is Eric Priest. I'm a professional boxer based out of Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm originally from Kansas City. I moved out here to go professional in boxing. I'm currently 4-0, uh, three knockouts, and uh, I like to hit fast, I like to hit hard. I'm calculated, but at the same time, like if you want to brawl, I'll brawl with you. If you want to fight technical, I'll fight technical back. I'm never letting another opponent take me into their fight. I'm always going to fight my fight, I'm maintaining composure and being calm, but I'm in there at the end of the day to like hurt you and I'm not playing around in there and there's only one winner in this so that's how it is. So I was first introduced to boxing by my dad. He was in the military so at a pretty young age I think he wanted my brother and I to learn how to throw a punch so we started training pretty young um, probably around like nine years old just learning how to fight. I was a pretty angry kid to be honest with you and I was, yeah, I was smaller than a lot of people so I would kind of find motivation from that to train. And I found myself and confidence through learning how to fight and competing. So for me personally, like I'm a Korean American. So a lot of my following are people that are from Korean descent. And that's a big part of the reason that keeps me motivated in doing this kind of stuff is I wanna represent hope for uh, a lot of the Korean American culture. You know, as a kid, I would go into these boxing tournaments in a predominantly like African American Mexican sport. It's just, it's different growing up in a place like Kansas City where there's not that many Korean people around. You sometimes feel like an outcast. And um, before things are a lot different now, but 10, 15 years ago, like things were different the way even in schools and stuff, people treat you. Genuinely remember like, you know, a lot of racist comments and stuff, but it was hard. It definitely was hard being a first generation immigrant. My mom was an immigrant from Korea when she was 26. And I remember going to the grocery store with my mom and, uh, just the way that people would treat her because of her accent and like the way that people would just immediately look at like Korean people just because they have accent like you're oh she's dumb or like you know they treat you like you're an idiot um that stuff really really pissed me off um and so i was just driven to prove everybody wrong i really want to represent like the idea that you can really do whatever you want if you put your mind to it and i have no doubt in my mind that if i replicated my boxing work ethic in any other area of my life i do believe i could do it whatever i wanted that really just keeps me driven and that's what i hope to instill in you know the culture of kids and the next generation growing up you know it's something that i never really felt as a kid growing up and i kind of had to find that inspiration and hope for myself but who am i to not inspire the next korean american kid coming up that wants to fight i'm on a mission to just shift the culture of just the way we're viewed and just yeah represent hope so currently i'm training with justin fortune world-class trainer um his wife actually found me when i first got into the gym and um from there i took only about one sparring session with justin and we kind of just built a relationship we knew we we're gonna have a relationship after that and he like literally after one sparring session, he was like, if you want to go pro, I'm going to take you pro. As far as accomplishments, I want whatever fighter wants. I'm not taking any shortcuts. I'm not trying to pad a record. I'm trying to climb these ranks fast. I want a world title and like I will do whatever it takes to get a world title. Boxing and competing in boxing puts you in a position where you are forced to learn things about yourself that you may not have known before. You're forced to like feel things that with emotions that you may not even know you have. Uh, it puts you in a place where you it's fight or flight, you know, it's live or die. There's somebody going in there to hurt you. And your goal essentially is to hurt the other person more than they hurt you. And that's, that's what it is. If you want to feel every single possible emotion, like prepare for a fight and get in there and fight. We're human, we all have fears. Like I feel fear, like just drive, motivation, courage, all put together in one. It's, it's like a dream. Usually after the fight, you don't realize what just happened or it's, it's unreal. Boxing, boxing teaches you a lot about life and about yourself, aside from the competition aspect of it. First of all, learning how to, learning how to defend yourself or throw a punch um, is something that I think a lot of people just need to know. It teaches you work ethic. There's no possible way you can compete in this sport and not have a work ethic. And it teaches you discipline, discipline in other areas of your life. Training in boxing is also humbling. You know, in a gym, you're surrounded by people who know how to fight, they know how to protect themselves, and some people that may be tougher than you or better than you. And so it forces you to be humble, to be real with yourself, and um, understand that aspect of life that you can always improve, you can always get better. There is no way to just be like an all-around picture-perfect boxer. You know, everybody has their own style with things, and everybody can has room to grow and improve. You know, and that's part of like boxing is like falling in love with the hunt and the grind of it. Falling in love with the pain, the starvation. I love every second of it. I live for it. I don't do this for anybody but myself. Literally just who I am, my blood. 
I'm willing to get whatever it takes. I'll, I'll break my bones, I'll break my face. I, I don't care, this is who I am. This is what, this is my purpose here. And so that's, that's just how much it means to me.